You got a silk brick and it feels like a brick. What do I do now? Hey, this is Mary from Kamash Fiber Arts. And sometimes bricks are a little compressed. They're not felt because silk doesn't felt. And let me tell you why sometimes when you get a silk brick, it might be compressed because these are shipped from China and they are very compressed in the box when they're shipped. So they get a little bit compressed or they feel hard, kind of like a brick. Now they're not always like this, but this batch is, and I'm going to show you how to make it nice and fluffy to be able to spin it or dye it. So let's get up a little bit closer. This is a silk brick and this is what it looks like when you will get it in the mail. It's all wound up in what they call a brick. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unwind or open the brick. Be careful, just see where the ends are and just gently unwind it. Okay, so now I have it all unwound. This is pretty compressed. Can you see how tight those fibers are together? Now, remember, silk does not felt, so it's not felted. But this is what you want to do. You're going to start at one end, and then you're just going to give little tugs along the length of the top. Don't pull it so hard that you actually pull the silk apart. Make sure that it's not twisted, and just give gentle tugs all the way down the length of the silk. I also do this technique when I'm dyeing comb top, say it's wool. Sometimes it's a little compressed when it's done being dyed. Then I will just give it a little tug and it sort of fluffs up those fibers. Now, I guess I could steam it. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe I'll try that next time. And I'm gonna go down the whole length. Let me speed this process up so you don't have to sit and wait the whole time and then I'll come back. And this is what it looks like all done. I opened it up so it's flat. Now sometimes fibers may kind of cross over. Just use your finger and pull them apart. But this is the whole brick, fluffed open and flat ready to go. If you still find little areas that are a little bit compressed or hard, just give them little tugs. And there you go. Okay, now let me go ahead and wind this up and I wanna show you the difference between the compact or compressed brick to the one that I opened up. Look at the shine on that, that is so pretty. I have some actually soaking because I'm gonna to try to dye some and see how it turns out. This is really pretty. See how fluffy and big this is? So when you get your silk brick, don't worry, just follow this technique, this really simple technique, and you will get it ready to dye or spin. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and please subscribe, and I will see you next time.